Hit, hit him with the intro, Lucas. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, because like I don't I don't know how to segue into it. That's sort of the bit. Oh, I don't yeah. know how to segue into the intro. Yeah. That's why you really just goes. <laughs> hey guys, welcome <laughs> to the <Yeah>. Podcast. <laughs> um. So, so okay, seventeen. 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 Yeah. 17. yeah. Okay. Is there? A, is there? A, is there? A no. Put your put your legs down. You look like a hostage right now. Put your legs down. <laughs> <laughs> Mildly am, I don't know. So, there's, um, is there a special way you'd like to be introduced? Or? No. No? <laughs> just, just, no, 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 you just go by Ella? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, okay. usually. I'm not going to plug any socials or anything? No, no, no I'm good. Alright, we're all good. You can okay. plug, plug my website. I'm not plugging yours, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. plug it What's your website? Fun. I haven't read it yet. Right. It's still in the creation stage. No, right. you're, you're making a website? Yeah. What for? Uh, we'll save it for I the actual podcast. Theater so, yeah, save it for Save it after the I intro. guarantee this is, this is all going in right now. It's, Maybe. it's probably going in, yeah. Hello, welcome to the 17 Time <laughs> Primetime Podcast. I am your host, Lucas Hemming, and I am with two very special guests here that both work at the same place. I'm not going to tell you where, though. Ella. Do you want to advertise our business, bro? Our business? What business? No, no, no. I ain't advertising Sorry, business. I really fucked it up. I said a lot of things. No. If you want to do it again. No, that's kind no, of this, the, that's this kind shit of the point. Oh, okay. you, can, you can laugh. Yeah. So here we have Ella, hey. first time on the podcast. <laughs> Charlie, first time on the podcast as well. Not, no, no. It's, I reckon this, might, this could be my 11th time. 11th? There are 11 episodes? There's seven, this would be the 17th one. This is the 17th episode. Yeah. I was wondering why you were saying 17th It started off as, it's the one time prime time podcast. It was, it, was for, yeah. it was for school. Yeah. I had to do like a podcast for, for like an assignment. Yeah. And, and we're both like, like no, that was kind of fun, you want to do another one? Yeah, okay, yeah, but let's do it the two time, yeah. and then we got three time, four time, five time, <laughs> six time. Yeah. And now it's become like a season thing, so every ten episodes we change up the background, so now mm-hmm. we're doing the green screen, even yeah. though I don't really use the green screen, except yeah. for the last episode. Uh, I forgot to introduce Charlie. Oh, yeah, <laughs> what's up? They, they already know me. You can put something cool on the green screen now. Yeah, what should I put on the green screen? But the green screen doesn't cover the whole... <laughs> yeah, I know, so it's like... It's... Yeah, it's, it's, it does half a job, but it does the... It works. Sometimes. I mean, we've put... Look, we're in the beach. Right. We're on the beach. Sure. Look, no, now, don't, now, because I have to... Now we're in editing. space. Now we're in space. Yeah, now we're in jail. Uh, jail? Yeah, sure. <laughs> jail? Uh, There's just a jail behind us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, Charlie really wanted Ella to be on the podcast. Ella really wanted to be on the podcast <laughs> yeah, as a one. joke, <laughs> and here she is. So uh, we don't we don't really have a topic, no. um, but we do have some things to talk about. Should, should we start with um, Ella? What, what's what's up with what do you what do you what's your thing? What do you do? <laughs> what are you into? Uh, crying most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do I do? I go to uni and yeah. do, I do theatre, mm-hmm. yeah. stage management. Mm-hmm. I'm doing an ensemble at the moment, which has got nowhere. But I am working another show at La Mama. Come see it, July 5th to 16th. Okay, so yeah, we can plug that. We can plug that. <laughs> we can that. plug that. It's That's called good. Ada. <laughs> you should come see that. Alright. Um, yeah. So you're starting, good. you're doing a uni course on theatre. So what kind of work do you have to do? Um, last try, well, basically the first two trimesters you have to do like a basic diploma of performing arts. So you cover everything. So I've got done like sound lighting. I did a whole thing on acting, which was just ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I'd love to know about that. Um, and then like theatre studies, so we do a bunch of theatre styles studies. Mm. Um, you did? Did you do any? Did you do like a theatre class in high school? Yeah, I did VCE. Ah, yeah. Studies. I also did VCE. And my school didn't just didn't have any good classes like that because it was a public school, so we didn't have any theatre classes. I was at a public school. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, but I did mine during lockdown, so it was kind of fucked. I also, yeah, no, lockdown was lockdown was fucked. But I did, I did my monologue during lockdown. That was tough. Yeah. Oh, what, what monologue was did the, you do? I I was here before you guys, so I did. What did I do? I don't remember what I did. It was this old woman, this old woman in like a um, she like did museum tours. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't remember what it is now. My teacher's gonna kill me. Um, <laughs> she's never gonna watch this, but. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no. I don't know. It was this old woman who was doing like these theatre tours and stuff, and I built a staircase that was like this tall in my garage, just out of wood I got off Marketplace for random people. And I ended up jumping off it. Like, I made. I had bought like three yoga mats and glued them together, then put a rug over it so I could like jump. Off it See that's when side. you need a professional stunt. Stunt, actor. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. I actually jumped. I, off, I actually that. jumped off the stairs last week at uni, and then the teacher, the teacher wasn't happy because she said 
If you want to do shots where you can fall, you can do them without actually falling and just disguise in two different takes. But I think she was actually impressed with my stunt work. And I did a break fall and I, I looked pretty impressive. That was funny. I did tell everyone at work that you fell down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> you probably changed that point, like, <laughs> about the story. That, that, was that so point, like, funny. oh yeah. And everyone sense. actually believed me and he's like, no, no, I, I did it on purpose. And everyone no, was like, yeah, like okay, like a, okay. It was on purpose. I did like a front flip and everything. It was awesome. Yeah, so, um, so the monologue. How did it go? Because I know I've I've also <laughs> experienced so it, and it's a very intense experience. You have to bring all your props. You have a certain time limit. Yeah, it was bad. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I cried. I so we did them at Moravian Town Hall, and I had my staircase was measured to get through any ordinary size door, mm. so it could fit through. And for some reason, the doors at Moravian, so the they'd split the hall in half. You know when they had like hall dividers. Um, oh, yeah, those things divide, that fold yeah. and stuff. So there was a door in the middle of it, but it was smaller than the average door. So I couldn't, I couldn't get my staircase through. And this old little biddy, her name was, her name was Barbara. I remember her distinctly because she had a little thing. She's like, I broke my knee the other day or something stupid. And you know when you go in, you can't like, you can't talk to your teachers or anything. No, like you just have to set up. And yeah, go. you have to like. It was like in the in the waiting room. Yeah. And she's like, you can't take it in. And I was like, sorry. And she's like, you can't take it in. And I'm like, this is the whole show was like based around these stairs. And I was like. What? She's like, yeah, you can't take it in. And I literally just, she's like, I'm gonna leave, and you can sit here. And I was literally just started crying. So and it, the, I seriously started crying. Oh, that's shit. <laughs> yeah, it actually ended up working out though because we found a back way to get in. So we like went through the storage area, and I'm like pushing my staircase through. I like ran over like 18 screws, and then yeah, I ended up getting in, but I was very distraught, and yeah. then my speaker broke. So oh no, it's a tough time to be alive, but. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I don't know. Your Barbara. whole thing was sabotaged because you couldn't fit a staircase through a doorway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I did end up getting it in, but I did score well. But it wasn't like. I don't. I don't. I don't think I sat down and checked my score. I kind of just just did it. Um, mine had fake blood involved. Oh. So it was very risky. Uh, I was doing. Well, I don't remember mine either. <laughs> it was. It was. Uh, character. It was played by DiCaprio, I think. No, not DiCaprio. Brad Pitt? No, no, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. It was like it's kind of like a psycho sort of scene. Guy murders someone, even though you're just the only person there. You have to pretend mm. kill someone with a yeah. letter opener. Um, oh my god, they did that the year before. My friend did that as well. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know what I'm, yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, I did that one. And it was something about his nose with the sword or something. Yeah, I get it. Sorry. Yeah, I um, I had this because I would get like blood on my hands and stuff, and I'd do this bit where I'd like flick my nose because yeah. I'm like, oh, well, I'm trying to calm down. I'd flick nose, I'd get blood on my nose, I'd look like a Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> it just completely would ruin the whole vibe <laughs> of the of the bit. Uh, it was funny. So, so what's the, how's the course going so far? It's okay. Okay, I'm back at Try 2 now. And I'm doing, I like this Try Better because we have, basically the way they've set it up is the critical thinking we don't have to do with everyone now, so it's just theatre based and we have like a guest speaker come in every week. So I'm meeting people in the industry and then... Oh, that's good. We do theatre studies again, but then on Tuesdays I do a whole ensemble. Basically the group I was put in, everyone else got given a script, except for us. Oh. And we're basically like, just have to start from scratch. Mm. Which is very slow, considering the people... It's a bit difficult at the moment. And then like, my job's harder because stage managers usually come in once we have everything and like, we can do stuff. But it's a bit slow, but we're getting there. Mm. I kind of hated it. I did cry in class yesterday. I do cry a lot. I did cry yesterday can in class. You cry, can you cry on command? Sometimes. I can make my eyes water, but I can't, like... Yeah. Because that, that's that's usually very effective if you want to make it in the industry. <laughs> if you can just... Well, I'm not a acting, lot of people will just... so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, otherwise, it's going okay. I'm pretty happy at this stage. Just the ensemble works better. But then, like, next try, we're going to, like, split off into actually doing like step by step what you need to do as a stage manager which will definitely help because at this stage <laughs> I haven't been told what to do yeah no so you're doing a lot of networking yeah that's really good I network um Charlie and I are sort yeah. of we don't really get to meet people like in the industry on our course but we just have to network with everyone else we just meet like minded people that are two years older than us yeah and we're trying to <laughs> seem like yeah. we're on their level mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, in terms of just appearance and maturity and intelligence. Yeah, I'm super mature. Yeah. So Charlie's looking to get his... Have, did you hear he's trying to get his professional... Professional... Stunt uh, actor it's called a stunt actor provisional license. It's like the first level of 
like stunt stuff. So you actually researched this? You didn't just uh-huh. message me one day. No, and I, say, actually I actually researched it. You have to spend a minimum of twelve months as a provisional stunt actor, um, and you have to you have to pass a test. Um, there's areas like body control, fire, heights, and cars and animals. I think those are all the areas animals. they have to work with. Yeah. What? Yeah, I don't know. Are you gonna have to like work practice with, with yeah. a monkey? I have to work with Ella's mom. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so uncomfortable. And then Cutting that out. And then once <laughs> I once I do twelve months or more of that, then then there's like four more levels, and the final one is like stunt coordinator, I think. Mm. So yeah, I'm gonna aim I'm gonna aim for that because once I do that, I'll be able to be able to do way more shit legally on our own. Where do you do that? I don't know. Clearly, he's done his research. Yeah, he's very, he's very well prepared. Do you think he'll make it? Do you think? Yeah, if you put your mind to it yeah, yeah. and work out where you're gonna do it. Yeah, I do that. I do that. You should, um, you guys should join a Facebook page of me. It's like Melbourne Cast and Crew Extras, and it's just like call outs. And like most of the jobs are unpaid, but you get like lunch and stuff. But it's also then you meet oh, people in the industry. Oh, yeah. mm. We found expanding our social media presence to TikTok way too hard. <laughs> I think. Can we do it to Facebook? Probably. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I my don't parents know. are constantly recommending it, but I'm like, no. It probably is a I good idea. I think it is honest. a good way because that's how I got my first job. I worked, I applied as a stagehand at Melbourne Fringe for one of these shows. A girl posted like three minutes after I joined the group, and she, I went for an interview and she found out I was studying stage management, so she hired me as the stage manager. And then through that, she's got me two more jobs. So one I'm working on now, and the last one I worked on at La Mama. I don't know if you've heard of La Mama. It's a very, very good, like, it's an independent theatre company mm. in Carlton. It's, like, under, so if you go, like, Her Majesty's and the Princess and the Regent and stuff, oh, yeah. if you go below that to, like, independent theatres, it's, like, La Mama, Theatre Works, Gas Works, like, it's very mm. high up, and mm. that's just because I met that girl on the Facebook group. What do you actually do as a stage manager? Like, what's your job and stuff? There's <laughs> so much. You're um, managing in a whole stage, yeah. though, do you know? Yeah, I basically coordinate everyone. I create rehearsal reports, um, help with, not help with casting, but I call people, um, health and safety officer, fire officer. I'm always first in, first out. I mean, last out. I have keys. I'm the one that has the keys for everything. Do show reports. At independent theatre, I'm mostly teching as well, so I have to go to every show and tech them. Yeah. So, so I'm you're watching still, the yeah. same show, like, for... <laughs> So it's sort of like a first AD, would you say, is like the film equivalent? Sorry? So it's sort of the equivalent of like a first AD, like an assistant director, do you think? No. It's not? On are we, are we trying to... I'm tr- I, yeah, I don't know. know about on the way. TV said it would be a production manager. All right. Mm. So, but I'm looking at getting into producing as well. I was going to ask you, where, where do you want to end up? You want to be on the big productions? Yeah, mostly. Mm. If I'm stage managing, yeah. I'm looking into getting into more set design. But not for like big things, just like little indie stuff. Mm. But like producing, can, if I get into producing, then I can literally go anywhere. I can go film and TV. I can literally end up anywhere. Yeah. He's off. He's been oh, kicked out. out. I'll probably still hear it, but fuck it. We've we've done podcasts. We've done we've done <laughs> background noise before. Torrential rain <laughs> when it was just pissing with rain. Was that what we did with Tal? Yeah. Yeah. Um. What was I going to ask? What are you? Are there any particular theatre productions you're a big fan of? Maybe ones that inspired you? Oh. Uh, or ones you've seen? I mean, it depends. Like, the big one, Mary Poppins. Ah, yes. <laughs> I saw that one. That was the first show I saw when I was, like, five. My mum and I always used to watch Mary Poppins. But um, I saw a show... I've seen, actually, there's two indie shows I saw. There's Grief Lightning, which was by Mary Jane Ashley at Fringe. She basically had a 70-slide PowerPoint. And she basically went through the reasons as to why... Sandy, she thinks Sandy was dead in mm. Greece. Oh, uh, yeah. And that, um, yeah, that theory, yeah. what's the guy that played John Travolta? Played John um, Travolta. <laughs> 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 the actor. Yeah, John Travolta yeah. played. I've, I actually haven't seen Greece. Um, I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah, I don't know. I'm blanking. That guy, um, as he was going through the stages of grief, and it was really, it was just genuinely hilarious. And then I saw another one the other night called um, Grand Theft Theatre. Um, which was another show from Fringe at one best theatre at Fringe. It was basically a collection um, of moments. So they sat down and they had about 300 moments from certain plays that they'd all seen. There was like six of them. And they basically just went through and I think they did about 30 or 33 of them. 
mm. and like perform certain moments but they made it really funny like it was just chaotic like they were stabbing people with tomato sauce bottles and it was just tomato sauce everywhere and then they had sand oh. and they were like burying people that's and a lot to clean up yeah, <laughs> yeah. They, it was there was tomato shit everywhere and, and then oh, they were pouring wine like across that. each other it was Crazy. I mean, how long did it take us to get the sand out of the camera when we filmed? Oh, we didn't take it out. We just let it all uh, out on its own. Yeah, fair. Nah, I gave it a bit of a dust. Yeah. Is it, I think, is there any in the lens? I'm not going to check it out because it's filming. <laughs> <laughs> <It's basically. laughs> just get a real close up real sick. Um, so, yeah. I really want to talk about this diss track. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Let's, let's get into it. I want to That's get enough. the reasoning right, behind this. <laughs> so, uh, ha- do you want what? <laughs> oh. Charlie wrote a diss track met, on no, me. We, we just yeah. write one up. No, so um, the thing is, Charlie, every time we're at work, seems to hurt me. No. And he I threw didn't. a cork at my eye one day. Kish. Which, again, no. the other day, he threw the cork at my head the other day at work. No. He learned nothing. He's learned nothing. She was in my way. I had to no, teach her you a lesson. No, you were I was not. I was not in your way. You I was standing. About to walk out, and I, was I turn around. I trying to hit the wall with the cork, piffs, and you're just there, bro. He's this far away no, no. from me, and he piffs the cork at my eyeball, and it was bruised over New Year's because I had a black eye over New Year's because of Charlie. Lies. And then Cap. I told everyone, and yeah, we're, no, not, and we're no not really allowed one, to work together every, anymore. Yeah, you told everyone, and no one gave a shit. Okay, they no. did. Jen, did you see Jen's face the other day when she found out you threw another cork at me? Uh, well, there was two. No, but then she yeah. she patted me on the back afterwards no, when you we walked away. Off. <laughs> no, she did not. No. <laughs> when it, no, no. Okay, so you you threw a cork at Ella, what, and then what did, what did Ella? You, what did you do after that? I had to go to the bathroom because I had a cork in my eye. Okay, <laughs> I, it was it bruised. I had a black I eye. I don't think it bruised over New Year's. I don't think it did. It did. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! It really hurt. He seems to think that he can fight me at work, and this amount of times that he's tried to like kick me, and I've just grabbed his leg and swung him around. Uh, well, no. <laughs> and then he got mad because I was better than him, so he oh, wrote a diss like track him. on me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, what 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 made you do a diss track? Because uh, you're pissing me off, bro. And I was like, you she know. was pissing you off. Yeah. After you threw a cork at her eye. Yeah. <laughs> it was the first random. No. Okay. It you... starts off you talking about my ex. He no, wasn't she... even my ex boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even my ex boyfriend, and I don't know why you brought him onto the diss track. Because it's it's, you know, it's personal. It's a personal matter to you. That's just the like, art. That's just the art of this track, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You got, you got to do that shit. It's the most dedicated I've ever seen you. Like ever, you wrote it in twenty four hours. He's put it. I I I wrote it the night after work, <laughs> and then I, I and I was home alone the morning before work, so I I, I picked the beat, which was um. Uh, the you know the diss track to the two pop. That's why I popped your beat. Yeah, you stole. You I did. used that beat, and then I recorded it. It, it yeah, it took me like you sampled two pack song. Yeah, and you hit them up. That's what's called. You put more work into that diss track than your whole YouTube channel. I put more work into anything, anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more work into that than I do. I can imagine you. I can imagine you typing that shit. Up, the lyrics on your. I was phone writing while it as work. I was. I was writing it as I was being driven home by someone else from work in, oh in, in the car. That's. Oh do you know what this is though? Every time we're working with Charlie, we have to pay rock paper scissors to see who's gonna drive Charlie home because no one wants. And the, to drive the winner. <laughs> to fucking tire. The winner gets to drive me home. No, they, they the all loser gets to drive. Me to home. The like, other day, Emma. They're like, oh, please let me drive Charlie home, please. And then they have to fight over who wants to Amber drive me home. said the other day that she would pay me to drive you home, but I couldn't be bothered, so I said no, and then Jen had to hang around for an extra like, 40 <laughs> yeah. minutes and wait for oh. you to drive you home. Summer's, well, Summer was so confused. Is it, Charlie, it sounds like you've been flipping the story a little bit. No, no. Just, no. just, just no, no. <laughs> Uh, I actually, Why can't you get your fucking worse? I'm trying. <laughs> oh, let's get into that. Because my mum's having a actually, go Actually, let's not get into that. <laughs> How many times... We so, need to get into that. I've driven you home so many times. So I drive, yeah, I drive Charlie to uni. Well, I you did last semester try. one. I had to drive him every single fucking day. I let you drive me. You, oh, okay. you got to drive me. You, you almost did. killed us several times. Once. <laughs> and twice. And my mum's like, when is Charlie getting his license? And I'm like... <sighs> I don't know. I think, he, I think he's... All? Yeah. Have you got your P's? No. Why not? Do you have your L's? Yeah. How many L's have you got? He's got, oh, he's got plenty of L's. Show me your L's, I got plenty of L's. No. Do you turn your app on while I drive you home? No, but I should, shouldn't I? I'm never driving you again. What the fuck? I'm never driving you. I'm literally never driving you. Uh, whatever. Oh, no. We last time I drove Charlie home, I was at the petrol station. And I made him get out of the car and wait in the cold I because I didn't want this. him to sit in my car and look through things while I was, I was out of the car. Uh, 
Wait, we'll press buttons. Ooh, what's in the I was driving him and he we we're going over Oh the, my you know, god! <laughs> you know I'm going to Tyro where you go over the roundabout before you go over the freeway? I think Charlie's told me this story. Yeah, we're driving around, he grabs around, the steering wheel yeah. and we go over the divider. <laughs> no, so and I, there was a car coming and it was like what, ten o'clock at night? So no, I almost killed you. I, I pulled no, over to the no, side listen, of the road. I'm like, I fucking hate so you. So I do it a lot to people, right? I grab yeah, me. Often. But I do it when you're driving straight. I didn't realize we're going around a, a, the the lane break or whatever. You don't know the lane that area. Well, I wasn't that paying I attention. Cross I just want to like, pick you up from your uh, whatever. Uh, fuck it, whatever. Okay. Charlie, get your license. Get, you, you, I, I'm telling you, you need to get. A, I want you to get your license, All right. and then get a no. purple car. Because we're trying to match colours for some I'll get a Mazda, th- whatever you you're not getting. Yeah, I mean, it's hard enough getting a what perfect car. What car do you car. have? I have a blue Mazda 3. I have a Mazda 3! Oh, wow. What colour? It's a limited edition. It's like a rosy oh, gold type so thing. So I know, I know. It's really hard <laughs> to get oh, my no. bumper fixed because the colour's not <laughs> right. I also <laughs> fucked mine up because, um... <laughs> back of smash. <laughs> yeah. so he was backing out of my driveway telling... I was telling him a story about who someone thinks he's a reckless driver, and as I was telling like, him, I'm not a reckless as I was driver. telling him that story, he backed into you a just, car. Out of hey, the they were not supposed to be parked there. Yeah, yeah that was a bullshit was, parking spot on there. It was pretty rough. It's this actually. old couple who are parked like on the other side of the road, right out on Charlie's driveway, and yeah, I'm trying to turn it around, and I just you know scraped him on the side. I'm like, right, fuck. And this was just after I got yep. my keys locked in my car. <laughs> <laughs> at Bacchus Marsh, Marsh yeah. which is three hours away, <laughs> at like, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night? Yeah, it was, it was very late. I he was on, he was on a film shoot and he was making all the props and stuff, and then he locked the props in the car and he couldn't get I got get the them. props out first uh, and then the oh, key ended yeah, up yeah. in the boot. Yeah, that's fine. So I didn't completely sabotage the whole film production, mm. but it was a very unlucky experience. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, back, uh, I had my car... There's a chunk missing from the back of my car because someone drove into it in the Coles car park. <laughs> and I don't know who. So they didn't leave a note or anything. I'm not happy about it. It wasn't me, I don't drive but if personally if that was me, I would write a diss track on that person. Let's get back onto that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because no. then he starts making more songs after. I made a couple more track. songs actually. And then he Oh, you haven't heard them. No, I, no I, play, I think I played it one. You know what? We don't actually have to talk about that. Oh, well, we are. So, Ali, you recently got back from a holiday. In no, Asia. I want to talk about the diss track, but, but I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, but I do, though. I so want you're the lyrics. Numbers. I want a lyric video. <laughs> like, we're filming. We can do a music video if you want. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know what <laughs> It's like as soon as he makes the diss track, then I pick him up from uni, and he he says, "Right, give me your phone. Let me." He types in the <laughs> unlisted YouTube video link. And we start listening to no, it. No, I like, haven't saved because I sent it to a few people. And then he, he does oh! like... <laughs> I used to play it for everyone. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, that's right. you, want, you wanted to make your ringtone, didn't you? Yeah, I was going to make my ringtone. I actually Steph, I played it over Steph's speaker at her brother's 16th birthday party. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> Guys, check this out. It's Charlie. Who's this? Oh, it's my work it friend. So wrote a diss track on I'm kind of flattered that I have a song written about me, but at the same time, it is a diss track. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You gonna write any more songs, Charlie, or are you no, calling I it wanna quits hear after? The rest of the song. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna write any more. I'm not gonna write any. No, not. Why not? I don't, I don't want to. It's because because of what's happening right now. Oh, okay. Charlie, you wrote the song. Oh, yeah. You 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 sat down and said, "I'm gonna write this and, track." Yeah, and then like three days later, you sent me a video playing it over the car speaker In to Lucas. Yeah, bro, we'll vibe into that shit. I swear. Yeah, because it's very easy to vibe to music with you, and then because it distracts you from grabbing. Well, actually, sometimes it causes you to. Grab the steering wheel and be yeah, a dickhead yeah, when it's yeah. no, I'm actually pretty good. There are a couple songs that. blacklisted, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> Banned from the car. Yeah, because they make me go sicker mode. Sicker mode's not blacklisted. Say, that's one of our favorite say ones. Say goblin mode, don't you? Goblin mode, yeah. Sicker yeah, yeah. mode's not one of them. No, sicker mode's a good one. I'm a pretty good passenger, though. No, you're not. No, you're not. I am. I am. No, you're no, actually it just so way. happens that I haven't had a car incident... <laughs> In like the past couple of months, since ever you since you stopped driving me to you. stop driving Charlie to uni, th- four three times a week. Charlie actually broke my car. Hell, I don't know. Yeah, you did. I didn't. So, I, where was I? I was somewhere and I worked out that my car wasn't locking, and I was like, "Why is my car not locking?" It was the day after I had him in my front seat, and I was like, "What the fuck's gone wrong with my car?" 
it just wouldn't lock. So I'd have, I spent literally four days going through when I got out of the car, I'd have to like lock all the doors individually from the outside and then lock the main door with the key because mm. it wouldn't lock all of them simultaneously. And I, it just wouldn't work and I don't know why. And I was like panicking because my mum had to come get my car and I had to tell her that my car was broken and it wasn't locked. And then four days later, Caleb, you know Caleb? I, I've heard about Caleb. Caleb's yeah. in my front seat and he's kicked something underneath. He like got up to, um, he was like putting his seat back up, he kicked it. Mm. Kicked a lever that Charlie obviously kicked a few days after and all my doors just locked. So Charlie had kicked a lever underneath the passenger seat of my car that had disabled the lock system on my car. He's built different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not Why are you back. kicking levers, man? <laughs> oh, fuck, I don't know. Why are you also leaving empty Powerade bottles in my car and then leaving them for a whole fucking semester? Oh, God, I know, and the Hubba Bubba wrappers. Oh my... Oh, I haven't found those yet. <laughs> no, but you know, how, you know how people like stick gum under the seats. <gasps> you like, do. No, have you actually been doing that? No, no, no. I no, swear no, to God, I go back to my car. I'm just, and I'm just, gum under just my seat. If I go to mine, I'm just saving it for when I want it next time. Next time I'm in your car. No, I'm sorry. Sorry. Charlie, that's a, that's oh, I if I go back to my car and there's no, gum there's under my seat, I'm going to kill you. <sighs> I reckon you guys should say some good things about me now. Alright, so... Um, oh, oh, uh, oh. <laughs> shit. Great. Uh, so, Ella, how was your trip? <laughs> <laughs> it was good, I was away for Charlie for <laughs> three months, it was great. Uh, you, did, you did buy him some presents, I heard. You got I made him pay me for them. No, oh, yeah. he didn't tell me that. Yeah, I wasn't gonna let it go. I also had no money. You found, so you found I some won't, stuff. No, for him. But, but, he asked me to buy them. Okay. It was one thing, and he asked me to buy it like a month before I got to Thailand, and then kept going, "Can you buy me these? Can you buy me these? Can you buy me these?" And I'm like, "I'm not in Thailand yet, Charlie." Like, <laughs> but I got. Do they fit? Yeah, they fit actually really good. Yeah. The, the, they're good for boxing. You, I guess you went to the gym today. You trained with them on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was gonna get him a bright pink pair and they were. <gasps> yeah, that would I wouldn't funny. have paid for those. That would have been funny. What colour did I get? Red and blue? It's like red and blue and yeah, yellow. Blue. yellow. I can't figure out. I tried. I looked up what the alphabet is in Thailand to try and figure out what it says, but I can't, I can't figure it out. I'm guessing it says Mai Thai. Maybe. That's the guess I'm gonna. Is it alphabet? They don't use like. Well, I don't That's not, it's it's not that easy, bro. Top, like it's Thai script or whatever the fuck it's called. Like Mandarin, I don't know if I can. Google Translate. Uh, I don't know. Mandarin? How you... No, yeah. You can't translate. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Speak Thai in Thailand. Yep. Yeah, I knew that. Hmm. So, where, where yeah. else did you go on this trip? I went to Vietnam, mm-hmm. Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, Malaysia, mm-hmm. and then Indonesia. Well, I say Indonesia, but it's just Bali. <laughs> so, I can't really claim the whole Indonesia, but yeah. Well, which, which was the, what was the best location? Vietnam. I'd 100% go back and do Vietnam all over again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I it was also the cheapest place. Mm. It was the cheapest. I got, yeah, I think it got more expensive as I went around. How cheap are you talking? Like I paid 90 cents for a can of beer. Yeah, that's nice. Like I didn't drink beer until I went to Thailand, I went to Asia, and that's all I drank. I was drunk, I had 10 <laughs> days off the whole three months I was there. Not in a row, but like 10 different days that I didn't drink. I was drunk every day. <laughs> that's the way to live. I mean, it was great. So I you're, really you're miss my lifestyle. Yeah. I was on a three month bender. I miss my lifestyle. It was great. Oh, man. I mean, it was so cheap. It was like, why not? Yeah. They had these things. They're so dangerous. Like, called buckets. Buckets, yeah. So they put like buckets four. Buckets are scary, man. They're they like... put like four shots of alcohol with like barely any like mixes in it. Okay. And just like give it to you in a big bucket. And it was like $3.50 for a. In Thailand, I paid $3.50 for a bucket of. For a bucket of. Vodka lemonade. Vodka and. <clears throat> and you just drink it out of the bucket? Or you... Yeah, they give you a straw. <laughs> Sometimes you share How big's them. the bucket? Like, like yeah, like this big. There's they put okay. three or four shots in, and then it's, um, yeah, but it's it basically rounds out to be a dollar per shot. Okay. We need to start serving that at work, then. Yeah. yeah. I well, I was out for dinner one night after the boat party, and we were already wasted, which is just a whole other story. And they, the people were sharing buckets at the table, but I was about to go get a tattoo, and I'm really scared about getting tattoos. So yeah. I had a whole bucket to myself. Like, I sculled the bucket. It was terrifying. These guys haven't seen my new tattoo. Look, oh, look, yeah. at, look at that. Look at that. Look at the venom. Venom's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, see. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I went on this boat party in Thailand. Wait, so did you get a tattoo? Yeah, I got two tattoos. Yeah. Wait, Charlie, did you get a tattoo? Did you get one? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, look at that! Shit! You've seen this, bro. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. When? Um, when... I saw I've this. seen 
<laughs> Alright, sorry, you were saying. Yeah, I was on this boat party and we were really drunk. And I don't know if it was because we were the only young girls on the boat, but the next three days we're on this tiny little island and you basically just keep running into people. Mm. And for three days after, we would be walking past and there would be these guys that walked past or like there were these older girls and they were like, oh my god, those are the girls from the boat party. I don't know what we did when we were so fucking... I was blackout drunk, I'm not going to lie. I sat on the tattoo bed after it and I was wasted and I was singing to Taylor Swift because the only thing that was going to get me through the tattoo. Yeah, that, sounds, that sounds about right. Yeah. Love her, but I think she's she's coming to Melbourne in February. February. <laughs> I yeah. screamed when I woke up. I screamed. <laughs> My dad messaged me this morning and he was like, are you going to this? And I didn't respond because I hadn't woken up properly and I went back to sleep because I just saw it on my notifications. And then I was like, my eyes, I was like broke from the dead. My eyes just like opened up mm-hmm. like 45 minutes later. I was like, wait, there were rumors about Taylor Swift coming. And then I rolled back over and dad had sent me I, the <laughs> screenshot of the set thing. And I was like, yes. I got a random email one morning and it's a, it was an email about a Taylor Swift event coming up. A Taylor Swift therapy session. <laughs> On Facebook, yeah. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? Why yeah. is this in my emails? They do them um, at clubs. It's basically just club nights and they just play Taylor Swift on repeat. I did go to an Olivia Rodrigo one with my sister. Oh. She bought it for me for my birthday. My 18th birthday. It was weird. But they had donuts. So I was pretty happy. Tell me, have you gone clubbing yet? No. Have you gone yeah. clubbing? I've gone to a rave. I've gone to two raves now. Okay, but that's not clubbing. That's kind of fast. Where was it? This was, one was in St. Kilda. The other was somewhere else. That where, was way better. where in St. Kilda? Um, oh, which one was it? It's like yeah, really close to Luna Park. Like was it SB? Distance. Probably that one. It was. It was at the venue. Was pretty shit. It was like. Was that the hallway one? The hallway one. Yeah. It was shit. How do you know? You've never gone. I told him about it. <laughs> I asked. Him, I, I invited him. I was like, fuck off. <laughs> like, I don't do raves. Don't do clubbing. Which is fair enough. But like. Have you gone to Merchant? It is a hole. Merchant's a hole. I hate Merchant so much. We, we were making fun of we Merchant go, last podcast. We kind of take it as like take take the piss out of it and we call it the pit and we just go mostly when we want to see someone so when we want to I went with my, a group of my friends because this ex-girlfriend was going to be there and we kind of just wanted to piss her off because I really don't like her mm. um yeah and it started a bit of shit but it was funny my shoes are still sticky from Merchant and yeah, I haven't been since like December fucked. but I'm, my friend's coming from New South Wales so I'm going to take him in like, a couple of weeks just to take the piss because I'm like you have to come to our local what do you mean <laughs> Uh, we've, put, we've segued away from it. Speaking of travelling, uh, I originally went up to Charlie and said, so my, my sister is working in uh, Disney World at the moment. In oh. Orlando. Um, Thank and you, Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like on Earth, you know. Yeah, yeah, somewhere around like the United States. Yeah, that one. It's like, you know, yeah. Um, we were invited up there around October time for Halloween Horror Nights. You got invited? Yeah, uh, yeah well, just sister really has like tickets and shit. Go. Yeah, we can go. Yeah, it looks like that's when we're we're gonna be going on a trip. To f- you need to book the flights now. It's though. in. Yeah, I gotta get my I gotta yeah, get my uh, passport renewed soon probably. Mm. How many months left do you have in your passport? None. So you need you... to do that now before you book the flight. Yeah, probably. <laughs> you messaged me once saying you want to go to the UK so you can watch like K- boxing. K- you want you want to watch KSI yeah. fight? Didn't he come here? He did with Logan a couple months ago. Yeah, not to long promote ago. Prime. Mm. Um. But Although, I, I was actually thinking I really want to go to Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz, which is in August, except it's in August and it's too soon, and also, also it's J- Jake Paul. Where is it? Oh, Texas. Yeah. You want to go to Texas? I, I, I was thinking about it, but then I was like, you know what? No. Yeah, probably not. So, we go to Orlando, we'll probably do a video over there, yeah. do some funnies. I was thinking, you know what would be really, so I thought the idea, we do, you know, because they do uh, Halloween Horror Nights, you can apply to be a scare actor. Oh, yeah. I thought, how funny would that be? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's my smile. You have costume. Okay. You just wear, you just wear backwards brain. <laughs> 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 and the hat Depends that you've what got on. <laughs> <laughs> thought this would be fun, having like, like, two of my friends on the podcast. <laughs> friends? You know, shut up. But. <sighs> well, this is like, this is my second time seeing it. I'm going to need that Taylor Swift therapy after this, bro. Yeah. This shit. You listen to Taylor Swift? No. Yeah, neither. <laughs> I'm willing to spend like seven hundred dollars on tickets for both shows. I'm gonna spend so. You wanna money. go to both shows? Yeah. Why would I not? Because you've already seen it once. <laughs> I don't know. But it's but you get two surprise songs every night, so I'm gonna hear two oh, different no. songs. Mm. I'm not risking it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm very excited. 
America. But you should go to America, but it's going to cost a lot of money. Yeah. We got some discounts, though, because my sister. But the in flight. T- in terms of yeah, flights. Flights is going to be the big one. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, it's like a 25 hour flight. That's not so much. 25 hours? Yeah, unless we, unless we do a stopover somewhere, but. We'll have to bring, like. A stopover. It doesn't go directly to Orlando. I'll oh, do what. You yeah. have to stop over. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. I'll do, like, what celebrities and, like, athletes do. They bring, like, Private their yeah, console. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, that, they bring yeah. their consoles no, on the plane and just play that the whole way. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll take. I'll get some of those sleeping pills and just go into a coma. That's one idea. Yeah, that's one idea. Yeah. Slams. Just avoid the food. At all. I'm probably gonna starve myself for 25 hours. <laughs> I'm not risking it having any airplane food. Yeah. Dude, every airplane food I've had has been fantastic. Every airplane I've food had has made me years. vomit and want to die. <laughs> oh. Never the, the spaghetti. Never have the spaghetti. Yeah, no, you bring you bring your own food. You bring your own food though, right? You bring your own food. Yeah. But there's like. You walk to you walk to your flight, and there's just like all of these different stores that with all these different foods and all these different food courts, and it's like I'm trying to get to my fucking flight, yeah. and you're enticing me with food, and it's actually it's scientifically I'm not a reliable source to talk about science, but it's scientifically proven that when you go to an airport, your taste buds actually change from the environment, and that's why for some people they get s- sick from eating yeah. what you would say is normal food. Maybe it's just different preservatives. Maybe I'm just piss weak. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's there's a flight now that you can do that goes from like Sydney to Auckland and then Auckland direct to New York. Yeah. And you can go fine. down to Orlando from there. But I imagine that'd be very expensive. That sounds like a fun trip. Because they're, really, New York on the way. they're yeah. really long flights. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah, doing like, Oh, like three flights and yeah, that's like really expensive. Speaking of which, last night. Yeah. Speaking of changing transportation on one trip, I guess I had to get on a a bus from uni to Southern Cross. Yep. I got from um, on a train from Southern Cross to Flinders Street Station. Then I got on a different train, with the Sandringham line, to get an express bus to Moorabbin, to get on a train to Frankston, to get on a bus near my house. That's six vehicles for one trip. Yeah, you see, see how I prefer to drive? Oh, well, well. See how I prefer to, you know, have yeah. my car and my yeah. license yeah, yeah. and drive there. Because mm, yeah. instead of going A to B to C to D to E to F, G, it's just A mm. to B, except, <laughs> except you almost die on the road. And you and you have to pay for fuel. Yeah, yeah. But I usually drive to Frankston, except for now that they're doing the work, so I drive to Danny now. Yeah. And then, there's, and then there's tolls. That's probably that's probably. No, up I don't there know. As well. You don't get tolls. There's. If you go Western Point Highway, you can get that without tolls. Top top two things I hate: <laughs> airplane food, <laughs> tolls. <laughs> What's three, four, and five? There's probably there's probably a third one, but I'm blanking on it. It'll come up maybe, and it'll come. Mine top two are racism and stairs. And I Racism's only, a good one. I only say racism. Oh yeah, that, just yeah. I hate, that. I hate that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really hate stairs. Stairs suck because you got to like go up them. I hate stairs. They're Do you prefer going thing. upstairs or downstairs? <laughs> Out of all the questions I've asked yeah. on this podcast. Here's a good question. The, uh, if you had a pet giraffe and a giraffe for some reason had to go to a business meeting, okay. where... Bottom. I, I put it on the bottom of the neck. <laughs> what? You put it on the tie? Yeah. 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 Oh. Where are you putting the tie? Like the top of the neck where the head is. Bottom of the neck. So you can either do it like it's... at the top of the neck underneath its head, or you can do it in the middle of the neck, or you can do it like above. So say like this is the start of the body, you can put it like here, or you can put it like directly here. It has to be the bottom of the neck. Yeah, I do. Because yeah. if it's at the top, you'd have to do it tight, and then you're strangling him, otherwise it's going to slide down. Yeah, but like how cute would it like a really long tie be? <laughs> I eat a tie that goes on the top of the neck all the way down yeah. to like the chest. And then his like suit vest like hangs off his ears and goes all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> his neck. Giraffes. But it's a bit of a yeah choker. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a weirder question. Then, do you prefer going up or downstairs? Oh, yeah. downstairs. To be that fair, works. I think the worst question you've asked on the podcast is, "What are your top ten thoughts?" And I, I was like, <laughs> "That's that, the." Yeah. <laughs> And and somehow that's the most viewed podcast we've done as well. Wait, wait is that? Yeah. Uh, wait, which one was that? Uh, I don't I don't remember what it's called, but it's one way where we didn't had nothing to talk about, and then you just asked. Oh, so like this one, yeah. <laughs> yeah. the worst questions. Yeah. The one where Charlie begged me for six months to come on the podcast no. and then didn't prep any questions beforehand. I, I didn't do that. Oh, that was yeah. I just had to come up with shit. I didn't do that. I didn't. I, I didn't beg her. Charlie's wearing his own merch. <laughs> his own one of a kind merch. Yeah. Mm. How much did that cost you? Uh, too much. How much? A lot. How, how a little much? Bit. I think it was like I think it was like um, like seventy dollars worth shipping. 
But right. it's a good jumper. It's, yeah, a warm, it's, warm, it's a warm jumper. You're getting paid too I much. Pay you are getting I can way barely too pay. much money. No, I'm... I'm going to message Steve. You are <laughs> no. getting paid way too much money. No, no. I can't even pay for delivery food. Why are you paying $70 for shit? Charlie works like three shifts a week and has spent his whole t- paycheck on a jumper. Yeah, yeah. That's $70 it's a week. It's because he doesn't have to pay for fucking petrol. Yeah, that's that one. That one. That's the one. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I got a side hustle as well. Doing OnlyFans. This is the first time you're telling me this. Yeah. Ellie, do you, do you know about this? <laughs> that was a lie. That was a lie, actually. That was actually a lie. Okay. If anyone I know is watching this. The only people watching this will be people I know, probably. I don't know Ma- Maybe. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, only I don't. I actually don't. I actually don't. Sure. Okay. I don't know how long we've gone for this podcast, but I think we're 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 heading towards the end of the podcast. <sighs> Thankfully, it's like maybe because usually we do twenty. I think that was a good. I think ones with three people are usually like half an hour, thirty-five minutes. Yeah, because there's a little, lot to go over. Yeah, yeah. A lot of banter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. We don't know what we're going to do after this. I'm starving. Charlie went to Nando's after the gym. Yeah, but and I'm that's s- why I'm he was starving. late to my place. I'm starving too. We're going to go back to Nando's. Nando's. I want some donuts. You talked about donuts earlier. Yeah. I want some fucking donuts. Where are you going to get donuts from? Um, there's uh, the one in uh, Main Street. Near Woolies. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Where's Woolies on Main Street? It's like, uh, it's like a... You know Main Street? Are you talking about Coles? No, the Coles is on the other side. Like, there's a Daniel's Donuts at Coles. No, it's, at, it's on Tachio it's on the Okay, so it's It's in the coal shopping Main center. Street shopping shopping center. It's like long. <laughs> Woolies is there, Coles is there, and then there's a Daniel's Donuts right there. Oh, are they in the same building? Yeah. Sorry, to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not aware. Alright, so now that we've doxed ourselves. <laughs> <let's>... <laughs> yeah. So thank you for coming on the podcast. <laughs> it's a pleasure having you. So me. thrilled to be Charlie? here. Charlie. I'm actually actually not I'm not coming back on for a while, I think. I need a break off this. I'll mm. come back on, on episode twenty one. 21. Yeah, the first one of season three. Yeah, season, back then. season three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, to be honest, I'll probably be on episode 18, to be honest. But well, who, who, who are we going to get for episode 18? We should get Jan and Amber. <laughs> no. Who? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do one by yourself again. That one was... The one where I was just by myself. myself. Yeah, I had to do one. When did that? Was that because of That was like not episode No, that was just because I was lonely. Yeah. And, and you're, like, you're like, I could call Charlie again, but I'm fucking sick of him. But I'm sick of him. No one wants to go pick him up. <laughs> no, I don't no, think I, I had my car back then. No, I walk here most times, actually. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, yeah, you yeah, don't. He has the last couple of times, actually. I you, don't know why. I enjoy the walk. You walk, walk from Tyre. Not from Tyre. My, I haven't... <laughs> Fuck. You walk from your dad's house. Okay, yeah. that makes more sense. Jesus Christ. Yeah. How fun would a walk be? It's a 25 minute drive. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, a little bit less than that. Well, you speed yeah, sometimes. You have to no, I. Can Charlie take? Oh, no, you don't speed, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> On speed. Anyways, so this has been the 17 time primetime podcast. Don't know who we're going to have uh, next time. Um, but but you're better off not watching, to be honest. Actually, no, the primetime, the views are good. They actually what are, are they? The, like 17? They're higher than other uploads. I mean, it's like the one they're higher. De- the, the, the other, uh, the other one with Deacon did bits. Yeah, a lot of the podcast episodes have more views than our Lucas Industries. Yeah, because it's because it's, it's a consistent series. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. know what they're saying. Yeah, you know that's you gotta have consistency. And like Deacon got like, he didn't get six hundred. I think. I think has I think almost three hundred views. Yeah. I've uploaded one YouTube video in my life and it got like a thousand nine hundred views. Okay, that's not. Yeah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> <actually> not yeah. <laughs>